Here's the Glance Clock. Hello, so who are you? Yeah, hey, I'm Anton, the founder and creator of the Glance Clock. And let's show you a quick demo, how it works and Is what it you can do. Is it connected over Bluetooth? Yeah, it's connected over Bluetooth. And so the cool thing that you can't see anything before you need to see that. It's just a gorgeous clock. But at the moment when you need to pay attention to some information, you can see your schedule right here. So how many appointments you have and how they laid out. It's like a picture of your day. At a glance you can understand are you fully booked or you're free. It can tell you who is calling. You will see the name or the number of the person who is calling you. And you can decide if you need to pick up a phone or not. You can call for Uber ride and get ready to leave your house. And at the right moment when it's uh, arrived, it will just alert you that you need to leave your house. And before that, it will tell you that it's sunny or rainy, so you will know exactly what to wear today. So you can see any notifications, reminders, things that matter to you to not forget about and pay, pro properly pay attention to it. All at the right moment, in a glanceable way, right in front of you. That's nice. Is this the LED lights? Uh, how does it work? It's a LED display behind of the fabric face. So it's, it's, uh, it's a natural fabric on top, aluminum frame and a very soft touch back. So it feels nice and looks gorgeous on your, on your wall. So you'll love it from the first time. Where are you from? Originally from Russia. We are based in Singapore. Nice. And here and in, here Hong, in Kong. Hong Kong. Yeah. And uh, is this a mass production or no? It started with mass production and the first uh, batch will be delivered in May. Is it crowdfunding? We completed our crowdfunding campaign on Funded Indiegogo. By Indiegogo. Right now you can go to theglanceclock.com. So here to our webpage and pre-order one for just 149. 149 that's actually okay right yeah in retail it will be 199 uh, that's really cool so um, is anything possible with this in theory it could be anything or not it like, can be it can be how, yeah. how could you add more stuff on the screen it's open actually so it's you open. you can play with our apis and so build your own stuff to display maybe on traffic on your web page or when your loved ones get home or whatever you want to care about. Is it possible to do some kind of if this and that? It's already it's 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 already work with if with if this and that. So already I don't need to program, I can set it up. Yes, do, yes. If something happen with that, then this can Correct. But is if this then that doesn't work inside an Android app, right? Does it, it, it does works. It any notification from any app? To start doing stuff? Yes, correct. That's cool. So, Bluetooth? No Wi-Fi? Uh, currently not, so just Bluetooth. That means it's direct connection to your phone? Yes, uh, directly connect to your phone. And uh, so it's, uh, so, and it's, it's okay to have a Bluetooth connection because in this case we can recognize the person nearby and uh, so, yeah. So basically, you enter. It only works when you're back home. When you're not home, it's just a clock. Yes. Yeah. Unless you give access to somebody else to use it. Yeah, you can uh, provide an access to the multiple users, and you might have so several clocks for you and set up them in, in a different way, or you might have just one clock for your entire your family. Could you maybe have like a little Android TV box or something that's connected to Bluetooth and it's always connected? So there is a plan, so but so maybe. currently not. All right, cool. What, what's your background? How are you able to do something like I'm this? I'm double E, electronic engineering. Is the first time you do consumer electronic product? No, I'm in the industry for seven years, eight already. What you were doing before? So smart home systems, uh, bus stop, displays. Uh, different fun things like a stairs with the music, so you climb into the stairs and it's playing music, so triggered by your steps. So you have this at home, right? You're using it. Yeah, I have a lot of that. Constantly. <laughs> and yeah. you just, every time you use it, you're like, oh my god, that's an awesome product I'm doing? Yeah, so yesterday I was surprised, I got mentioned on a, on a Twitter and I just saw, oh, you got a mention on Twitter. That's great. No sound, no? It's, it has a sound, it has a speaker oh, inside. Where's the speaker? Somewhere in there? Here. Oh, so it's actually, uh, you can have voice through that sound, right? So right now it's integrated with Alexa, so you can talk to Alexa and uh, so get a response on a glance clock. And a further version, we will build the voice capability directly. And uh, we call this speaker a notification speaker because uh, we don't allow to stream the music via it. Because in this case, we will go to the uh, another so space. Do you mind uh, uh, holding it up, sharing it around? Because it looks so awesome. 
That's cool. Uh, so it will be constantly plugged in. Uh, this is a battery, but there is a battery, and it lasts for three to six months, depends on uh, how often information pop really? up on the screen. Three to six months. Yeah, here I keep it charged because uh, I run the continuous demo, and it's quite uh, power consuming. But in a so general use case, you don't need to keep it plugged. You don't need to have it cabled. You yes. can have it nicely on the wall, yeah. like a normal clock. Yeah. And during the night, sometimes once in a, you know, three months, you can charge it. Nice. I'm just trying to think about all the possible use cases, but it's not possible to think because there's too many things that could be done. Is this the coolest glance clock out there? Uh, it's only one clock in the world that can do these things. Right.